Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in? as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The champion is in focus, he is in his prime, he's making his way towards the cage, his training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular, he believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record now. 28 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the challenger, Tatiago Jechebola Barzanibio. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, seven losses, and two draws. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Ponzinibbio. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Krokop gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice shot. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Nice leg kick. He landed that punch flush. Oh, big kick. Oh, big big body shot. shot. Body. Oh, how 
good is that jab by Santiago Ponzinibbio. Joe, nice head movement there to slip that right hand. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Huge uppercut misses. Hit him hard with that shot. Is true. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. And he's looking for that left. Oh, there he connected. Try to establish that jab. That's oh, a that hard a hook. Big hook. We'll see if he can follow it up. Woo! Woo! Look at that jab. Oh, how good is that jab? Snaps it off yet again here. Look at that. Nice. Really missed with that right hand. Huge uppercut misses. That one hurt. Just over two minutes, round one. Such good movement in there. Those punches are very hard. There's the kick, it's blocked. Brokaw gets stumped by that leg kick. Oh! He's hurt! He's in big, big, big trouble. The champ is in deep danger right now. He is desperately trying to hang on. Oh, straight right. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Spinning back fist. Big straight punch. Man. Oh! One minute to go here in the opening round. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Inside leg kick is there by Santiago Ponzinibbio. Oh, good job defensively oh, there to block the strike. This could be it right here. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Krokop gets caught by the inside leg kick. 20 seconds to go in round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. 10 seconds now in round one. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. Here's a powerful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work back. Brittany Palmer is here as well. You ready to fight? 
Second round here. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Mirko Prokop gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Hook to the head there by Ponzinibbio. These guys are just standing in front of each other and throwing bombs. Just out of range with that left hook. Good defense there. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out. He got tagged there. Oh, that was a hard one. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Constantly a moving target. Nice punch there by Mirko Kroka. That bruise on his outer thigh is getting much worse. How about that chin? Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Three minutes now to go in round two. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice jab by Kroka. Strong straight left there. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. Straight right hand, no good. Effective punch there by Santiago Ponzinibbio. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace and up to... Oh! This could be it! are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Yeah, he's, 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 on his feet. he's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. Oh, he might be out. Big spinning back fist lands. with the straight. Nice job there by Mirko Kroka. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Under one minute now remains in round two. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Ponzinibbio. Nice leg kick. Just misses with the straight right. Oh! Oh, you heard him. Man, has his chin been tested early. 30 seconds to go. Oh! Wow! Hard straight punch. Oh! He's in big trouble. Just out of range with that right hand. That's the worst nose I've ever oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Man, what a round. What a round. Take a deep breath. Relax. You're okay. You got rocked that last round. 
but you're fine. You're still here right now. This next round, we're going to get... There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Excellent striking on display in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. His foot kicked him in the face! He's got him right here. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Pressure on his opponent here, Joe. A lot lighter on his feet these last couple rounds of this fight. Tried to set up the straight oh, left. Big right hand. Hand. Oh, huge right hand! He is in. He hurt him again! Back to his feet again. Amazing. How about that shin? Kick attempt, it is blocked by Ponzinibbio. Oh! oh! So bad that he's down! Back to his feet again, amazing! Oh, straight right! Oh, he hurt him again! He is clearly oh! in big, big trouble here! Oh! Back to his feet again, amazing! Body kick, look at that! Strike attempt there, but a huge block. He tagged him again. He's hurt. He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Well, 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, nice. Big shot to the liver. He's hurt bad. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Swing and a big miss by Ponzinibbio. Final seconds of round three. knockout victory right as the round was ending. Wow, so just when his opponent maybe was trying to turn the page to the next round, he gets caught with that huge shot, goes down, and the referee wisely jumps in to stop the fight. So that'll do it. Beautiful technique there on the fight ending blow, and maybe he caught his opponent off guard a little bit, Joe. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Ba boom So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured and when